we're not going to fix the challenges that confront Trenton overnight. But I really believe that symbols make a big difference. And the symbols of Thomas Edison State College right here, um, right on the main street uh, where our state capital is, transforming not only the landscape, but transforming the lives of the people who enter into this building um, is an extraordinary way to get going. And so I want to thank the members of the legislature here as well for their support um, in the Building Our Future Bond Act. This $26 million project was built with $13 million in state funding, uh, and it includes the university's newest program, the Accelerated Second Degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, which is going to allow students who already possess a bachelor's degree in a non-nursing discipline to complete a BSN in just one year. We know we need more nurses um, in the state of New Jersey, that there is a real significant shortage and being able to streamline that process for people who already have a solid foundation of education is something that Thomas Edison is uniquely positioned to do, to respond to that need. And we need our colleges and universities to be responsive to the needs of the folks um, in our community if we want to keep them here. Because if we don't respond, they'll go to another state that is responding and they'll not only get their education there, but they'll work there. And that brain drain for the state of New Jersey is not something that we want to see happen. While I am certainly not a fan of debt, um, I am a fan of investment in things that will pay off much beyond what we've invested. And when you look at the billion three we've invested here, we have already recouped in economic development that investment. And that will be an investment just will pay on and on. So I hope that future governors will learn from this experience, that they won't wait another 25 years to invest in capital money in our colleges and universities. There's no reason for us to have to play catch up here. We now, I think, are as sophisticated as any state in the country on this. We need to move ahead and move forward. And I hope that future governors will take that into consideration when they see the success of what's happened here and the students that will matriculate here and ultimately be produced for our workforce.